Hey, so. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. I saw online that tonight's supposed to be one of the coldest in over 11 years. Really? Really. Well. Can I join you? Be my guest. Thanks, man. Sorry if I'm intruding. I just wanted a bit of company for a moment. Oh, okay. What do you listen to? Oh, uh, Leonard Cohen. Oh. No? Yeah. Leonard Cohen is dead. <laughs> yes, he was. No, man. He is. You're keeping him alive right now. Yeah. Yes, I am. Actually, no. Yeah. You're uh, pretty far removed from my life, I mean. <laughs> so, um, can I get your opinion on something? Sure. You know we just met, right? <laughs> uh, um, no. I proposed to my girlfriend when I get home. Ooh. Still top. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, so you came here to think about that? Cold feet. <laughs> uh, metaphorically. Uh, metaphorically and uh, figuratively. <laughs> A lot of reasons. What? I... Uh, well, she's pregnant. Yeah. How old are you? 25. How old is she? 25. I know. How she take the news? Shit. Uh, not the best. Uh, you know, I was careless and selfish. And now we have this kid on the way, and it's been hard on her. Have you guys tried talking to someone? Like a therapist? <laughs> No. Do that. Please. Can you do her parents know? Well, it's what, uh, this is supposed to smooth things over. Be better for everyone. I can't marry someone for other people. I'm not, it's just... Look, uh, her parents are, like, crazy religious, and... Uh, <laughs> And they hate me or enough as it is and now that you know that she's pregnant without you know outside of marriage it's it would just be better for her if she was married i think it would just help on top of things again you can't marry someone for other people again i'm not <laughs> do you have a lot of experience in this field you asked me for my opinion about this? Uh, is she want to get married? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Love her? Of course I do. Sure. Because marriage? Marriage is forever. Yeah. So, yes, what do you have? I love about it. 
what I love about her. She's strong, bravest person I know next to my mom. We've been together since high school and still, when we're in the same room together, my heart's just, she challenges me. She makes me a better person or makes me think I am because How can someone like her love me? You know? and I don't understand it. But I love her. I love her. Oh. You sound pretty sure. But it seems like there's something else. seen this before with my parents. I saw it before. Uh, I saw them argue and that's like all they did in front of me. Just argue and argue until they just could not communicate anymore. And if there was love ever at any point, it's gone now. Just like him, he's gone. He abandoned us years ago. Just this, this angry, angry guy. You couldn't challenge him ever. He had to be right at everything. He thought he was right all the time. And if you ever challenged him, then a belt was coming at you. That anger, you've seen it in me. Why can't you talk to me right now? Because it's uncomfortable to talk to you right now. Why? Because you're being a fucking bully. How am I being a bully right now? I can't talk to you when you're like this. But she puts up with it. She puts up with it. And I don't understand why or how. She deserves better than that. She deserves better than, than me. So, you're not sure about this because you have a small town. But she loves you as you are. Don't. You don't want to be my dad. Don't hurt her. Listen. My advice? Talk to her about it. Make sure this is what she wants. And make sure that you want to get married. Thanks. You're welcome. It's about that time. Sorry, <laughs> I have to go during this pivotal, profound conversation <laughs> that we just randomly got into. Yeah, I really spilled my guts. <laughs> Oh. Um, it was nice meeting you, though. Nice meeting you, uh, too. Uh, Manny. Manny. Javi. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Uh, stay warm, Manny. <laughs> and, yeah. Try your best.
Will do. Take care. I need to talk to her about. 